Pax World shares the revolutionary way for you to experience a breakthrough in healthy energy, calm energy, focus and concentration, and even age-proofing your brain. You do have options, and Dr. Arlene Taylor, brain function specialist, will be sharing with you one of the key ingredients in Delta E, L-theanine, and how it can help you go from this to this. You can change your state. And now, Dr. Taylor. Delta E contains a substance called L-theanine. And we're just now beginning to realize how important L-theanine is to the brain. <coughs> it's a neurologically active, meaning that it stimulates the nervous system in a really healthy way. It supports the nervous system, might be a better way to say it. It's a non-protein amino acid found in green tea. So people sometimes say, well, why can't I just drink green tea? Well, you can, but it comes in very, very small amounts. So by the time you drank enough green tea to get your brain enough L-theanine, you would be spending all your time in the bathroom and you would be wired with too much caffeine because L-theanine must have a cofactor in order to do you any good. And that cofactor is caffeine. So green tea contains caffeine and L-theanine. Now, in order to get enough L-theanine, as I mentioned earlier, you probably overdose on caffeine. And so the brilliance of Delta E is this. It has some caffeine in it, about the equivalent of half a cup of coffee. The least amount of cofactor that is needed to potentiate, to activate the L-theanine. But most of the stuff that bothers people in caffeine has already been removed. And that's the reason I use it. And believe me, I did not get on board with this until I had studied caffeine and what the denatured effect was, because I, I don't do caffeine. Once in a while I have a piece of dark chocolate, but you know, it's not a regular part of my diet. So L-theanine crosses the blood-brain barrier means that it can get into your brain. The blood-brain barrier usually keeps out a lot of large molecules and other substances. The FDA has approved several function and structure claims for L-theanine. You can go to Wikipedia and you can look it up. I always try to use resources, if I can, that are readily available. And you can take it at any time, with food, without food, and that's not the true for amino acids in general. This is what I think is fascinating about L-theanine. Current research, they're looking at it as an alternative to Ritalin. You know, many people who have ADHD or ADD are given Ritalin because most brains don't know how to deal with brains that need to move all the time to learn. And so the Delta E, I think, could be a wonderful alternative to Ritalin, because it's a food. We don't know what effect on the, on the brain um, taking Ritalin for 40 years is, is going to do. So I think it would be a much better natural way, and there are studies about that, as a treatment for PMS. Hmm. All you men ought to be interested in that. <laughs> yeah, PMS isn't fun for women, but it's probably not too much fun for the men living with the women who have it, especially when they don't understand the difference in terms of the way the brain handles stress. So a treatment from PMS, that works. And certainly for mood alteration, as in depression. So people who have a tendency toward depression, that can be because of not enough serotonin, it can be because it's a negative mindset, it can be because it's learned behaviors growing up, and so on and so forth. But that's a pretty easy way to take a Delta E in the morning and one after lunch and help with depression. So, i got a brain. And so do you. I'm taking care of mine by design to the best of my ability with what I know so far.